Hello friends, Kishan is here again and this is the continuation of my previous video tutorial. There we had created this project ticket booking management app using Spring Boot and here we are basically trying to perform the trying to implement the CRUD operation for RESTful web services uh, from uh, uh, end to end. So here uh, just we have created a bootstrap classes uh, uh, that were automatically added when we had created a Spring Boot classes right and we had created a controller right and in controller basically we are trying to perform we will uh, first of all uh, we, we were trying to implement I mean uh, post operation right to create uh, our resource on the uh, server right so that's what uh, we have written this method and uh, here this method will have to annotate with some annotations that, 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 that is the pending so in previous video if you did not watch my uh, first part of this video then I request you to go and watch my first part of the, this video where we had started creating this pro project from the scratch right so from controller method uh, we are just making call to the service layer and service layer we have a method it's called again create ticket and there we are passing this ticket uh, from controller and here we are basically trying to create this resource on the uh, server or database right so here in this example basically we are going to use the embedded database so as I said uh, uh, a, a Spring Boot comes with the three embedded database HSQL, S2 as well as Apache Derby so all three dependency we had selected right uh, while creating this project so if you go to the pom.xml uh, in this project then you will see uh, three dependency all three dependency uh, right so here you can see dependency for the Apache Derby uh, S2 database as well as HSQL so at, at this time I will uh, be using only one database so rest of the two I am going to just comment it right so first of all this example will try to run with the Derby database and rest of the two uh, we, we have just com commented out right and here here we have selected actually this this, this this is the parent right parent starter project so this is the this is indicating that our project is the child of this project right and here we have a I mean uh, we are using the Java 8 so that's the version that we have included in the properties the independency section we have uh, included uh, data JPA so here we are using a spring data JPA and we have included the uh, uh, starter web so that's what we are going to create the RESTful web services and this if you want to write some test genuine test cases so that's what this test starter has included and this is plugin which helps you to create a, a jar executable jar or var files so that's all about the pointer let's continue with the uh, where we had uh, left in the previous video so here in this uh, service class we can call to our dollar method so let's save this uh, entity class in the database so let's save this ticket into the database right and uh, basically if you go to this dog class uh, this dog class there is no save method right so this same method just we are inheriting from the crud repository right so we have a save method here we just will have to pass the entity and you will return the and you'll get return entity so once your entity is get saved into the database in memory database then this returns you the uh, entity class itself right so and uh, even though if you replace with if uh, in this example we are going to use in memory database right so derby database is the in memory database once you kill the server then everything is going to finished right so uh, if you work with the actual database like mysql oracle or db2 then this is going to work the in similar fashion right so almost some of the things are also still pending in the controller class in controller class we will have to annotate this class i'm going to annotate this class as at the rate request mapping and here i'm going to supply the URL, URI on the class level as uh, I would say API slash tickets tickets right 
and uh, this method I'm going to annotate as either you can use at the request mapping and you can specify the URI as well as HTTP method or if you look at the latest spring version then latest spring came up with the one new annotation is called uh, post mapping and this is basically designed for the post method itself right so here if you use post mapping if you use at the rate request mapping then you need to specify the HTTP method because default HTTP method is the get but uh, we want here post method because we want to create a resource on the server so post mapping itself represents the post method itself so here you need to specify the only URI so URI we are going to specify uh, something like create ticket create ticket right so that's the complete URI of URI of this resource is this resource is API slash tickets slash create ticket right or you can say create create is fine right so this is designed for the post view now let's try to test this API so what I'll do uh, before that let's uh, let's uh, create one more API to read resource from the server so I would say public return type would be ticket itself uh, I would say get uh, ticket ticket by ID right and here you will have to uh, pass ticket ID so I would say ticket ID which we will have to pass as argument right and this I am going to use over here get mapping so again this is the new uh, uh, annotation has been introduced in the latest spring version so either here also you can write at the request mapping you can you don't need to specify any HTTP method so by default that will take the get method or if you if you use get mapping so this is basically designed for the gate itself so here I would say uh, ticket slash I would say ticket uh, ticket slash and here I'm going to use a path variable so I would say ticket ID so ticket ID you have a path variable and here uh, we'll have to parameter we'll have to use at the rate like this at the rate path variable rotation and in bracket you will have to specify this ticket ID okay now here you have a reference of service class so let's service class I would say get uh, ticket by ID and this ticket ID will have to pass and same here directly we can return this guy right so let's create this method in the service class so create method and here you have a reference of DOM so again you have a method is called find one right and this ask you to supply an integer so integer is nothing but the ticket ID so it's pretty straightforward this is you don't need to write this method this method is already coming from the cloud repository this is already written in the spring uh, data jpa now we have written two methods in the controller and and we have written a controller service as well as dog so if you look into the controller then here we have a another method which basically drive a resource from the uh, server right so basically to read a resource from the server so one is to create a resource another is to read a resource from the server now these two RESTful API we are going to expose to the external world right and people can query people wants to create a book a ticket then they can book and if ticket is already has been booked then they can get ticket information from the server so everything is uh, and now everything is written over here now 
uh, here basically when you call application spring application dot run then this guy is going to return you the application context if you look into the return type of this method so this return type is a configurator application context so basically this is a interface which extends application context so this is indirectly you have application context now what i'll do i'll create a ticket while a, a application is started itself so let's call the get bin method and here what i'll, I'll i'm going to use this method uh, get bin method and first we'll try to retrieve an instance of service class so service class instance of service class and id is id would be the ticket service itself and here we'll have to pass the class so this is going to return you the instance of your service and here in here we can once you get the instance of service class then we can call create ticket method over here right so we will have to create a ticket instance first so it's a ticket ticket equal to new ticket so one ticket i want to create in the uh, uh, starting itself right address of the ticket we can create from the we can call the controller but here we are just skipping the controller call and we are just trying to directly create in the database itself so to get let's get the let's give the today's date itself so now let's destination station i would say mumbai and let's say source station let's say pune what else now set a uh, passenger name let's say kk set email kk at the rate yahoo.com anything else or and ticket id we are not going to set that is auto generated right so and that just we are so one ticket will be created in the start just application start itself so let's run this project now now we are running we are running this project and let me open this controller so that we can make url now if you look into the console then you can see apache tomcat 8 is embedded and that is running in the 8080 port now you can see uh, if you look into the derby dialect so a spring boot has detected the that uh, i mean a spring a uh, derby uh, derby database which is added in the class path itself and entity manager factory is created everything is uh, set up by the spring boot now tomcat is up and running let's try to access the ticket right which is uh, just created on the server in in memory database so let's uh, we can call it from here itself http colon slash slash local host colon 8080 tomcat slash api slash so let's see what would be the slash ticket tickets slash uh, ticket and we will have to pass ticket id let's say one so here you can see a ticket is created whose detail is like this right and this you can make call from the uh, here from uh, postman itself postman so you will have to select the http method get and let's send the request and here we got the ticket is created uh, ticket is uh, retrieved from the database now let's create a ticket on the server by using post method so we will have to select post method and uh, at this time we are not sending the ticket id right ticket id we are not sending so here we will have to 
just copy this and select the draw and sorry